let's be realistic ab about the great work Satoshi did, but the fact that it falls far short of the initial goals laid out. What's up, Crypto Crew, and welcome back. Or if this is our first time, I'm Captain Crypto Might, actively escaping the Matrix, scoping out the crypto ocean. So if you like your odds, get on the boat, stay up to date, thumbs up, and join the hunt. Into the boat! Crypto Crew, the biggest pumps for Caspa are still to come. It's just a matter of time and adoption. Now, the Bitcoin maxis, the OG crypto investors and huge institutions have started to venture out from Bitcoin and start to express their belief in the next big thing, that being Caspa. Reason why is because Bitcoin has failed to fulfill Satoshi Nakamoto's original vision to serve as a peer-to-peer -peer electronic currency. And if you've watched my recent vids, Crypto Crew, Caspa is able to fulfill that promise. You could say Caspa is more Bitcoin than Bitcoin. When it comes to being a peer-to-peer -peer electronic currency, the deficiencies of Bitcoin are as clear as day. Something the co-creator of the blockchain and one of the few members quoted in the original Satoshi White paper, W. Scott Stornetta, has mentioned as well. Casper has the fundamentals and the tech to potentially become more dominant than Bitcoin as Casper is already used for peer-to-peer -peer transactions worldwide when Casper is still at its infancy stages. And so unlike Bitcoin, which is considered digital gold, Gold or more of a store of value, Casper can actually be used for day-to-day -day transactions on top of being a store of value. Now listen to this interview with W. Scott Scornetta, the co-creator of the blockchain. W. Scott Stornetta, widely regarded as the co-inventor of the blockchain. His papers from the early 1990s, such as his 1991 paper, How to Timestamp a Digital Document, co-written with Dr. Stuart Haber, laid the foundation for Bitcoin. Stornetta was one of the few people cited in Satoshi Nakamoto's original Bitcoin white paper. What Satoshi birthed is a wonderful thing, but it no longer has peer-to-peer -peer characteristics for the vast majority of players. It is not the, the disinflationary thing that he had hoped for because it's still quite volatile um, and it's not anonymous like cash. So let's be realistic ab about the great work Satoshi did, but the fact that it falls far short of the initial goals laid out. And so I think the reason I'm spending so much time on that in trying to respond to your question is Let's start with a realistic baseline about what Bitcoin is today, is already. And then in that context, we can look at this question of whether increased centralization will take place, whether it's really more a store becomes a store of value, which it already has. It, it really isn't yet. Lightning Network examples and things of their ilk notwithstanding, it's really not predominantly a medium of exchange. Do I have hopes for down the road that things built on top of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies will take on more the nature of a medium of exchange and over time a unit of account? I have near term, near to midterm hopes on medium of exchange. Unit of account, I think that's going to be the very last one to, to uh, be realized. Bitcoin is the grand daddy of all crypto. It just steered away from the path it was intended for initially. And so if you're a Bitcoin maxi, you have to open your eyes to the bigger picture, like W. Scott Stornetta, the co-creator of the blockchain. Now we know Bitcoin is not scalable and therefore not fit for peer-to-peer -peer transactions as is. What makes Bitcoin Bitcoin is because of the security and its decentralized nature. What other cryptocurrency should you buy? What's the next Bitcoin? Well, now Stornetta says something interesting in this next part in the interview where he states that Bitcoin's centralization will only accelerate from here, which again goes to show that Bitcoin is going in a different direction than Bitcoin's founder Satoshi Nakamoto had intended originally. What Satoshi built on top of what Stuart and I had done is a great work of genius. Okay, I don't mean to take anything away from Satoshi, but even if we measure him against his own goals, namely the goals outlined in the title of the paper, First, we really don't have cash, okay? Bitcoin is highly traceable, okay? We really don't have stable peer-to-peer. -peer. Yes, the word peer-to-peer -peer appears in the title, but it is only natural that we see this aggregation of assets, whether in the private sector 
or, or wherever, it's already taken place. For the vast majority of users, people are not hanging out a shingle with their own node and trading directly with other nodes. For the vast majority of users, there's already a centralization step that has taken place. And I think that is only going to accelerate. And so where Bitcoin has failed, it has provided the foundation for Casper to build on. Cool. Shai Vibrovsky, the Casper researcher and one of the authors of the GOZDAC paper, explained this so eloquently in a recent interview in June 2024. Shout out Sin City Crypto. Bitcoin is uh, one of the greatest milestones, um, the first milestone in this entire new world, which... Uh, Behind the economical repercussions is just theoretically very, very interesting. Just from a mathematical point of view, it uh, completely changed how we think about what uh, the decentralized system can do. Um, but as a product, as a technological product, it has a lot of problems. And it's not because the people who implemented it or conceived it were dumb. They were extremely smart, one of, some of the smartest people in history. But they made the same mistake you would make when you do something for the first time. And when you have no idea in advance what sort of scale your system will eventually be aiming for. And we've learned a lot from these mistakes. And we tried to find a way to, to take these ideas and take them a, level, a few levels further. The first checkpoint was Bitcoin, where they came up with this entire new idea and blew everything away. The second checkpoint was Ethereum, and that they understood that you can take this expressiveness uh, of Bitcoin, this very limited expressiveness, and bust it wide open. And I think the third checkpoint is Casper. I think it might be, a uh, ghost that might be the third most uh, important protocol from a theoretical standpoint, from a computer science standpoint. The maturation of the ideals that uh, were first sprouted in Bitcoin uh, into something very cohesive, something very aware of all of the problems in the original design, and we incorporated a lot of insights, not just from the world of mathematics and consensus, from economics and from fee markets and from usability and what people want and don't want to do with this stuff and how we can take new approaches and insights uh, that were there before us and use them and to create this one thing that uh, meets as many um, criteria as we just can. And uh, I think coming up with this modern uh, modern solution, but with this old grassroots approach together, allowed us to accomplish something very new, something which is um, takes the ideas of Bitcoin, but removes many of the limitations. And I think the two most important limitations are the, the throughput and the, uh, the confirmation times, the responsiveness of the network. Being a Caspian or Casper Maxi for me means that I've invested over 80% of my crypto portfolio into Caspa. And yes, I've sold all of my BTC, Ethereum, and the older layer one coins such as BNB, XRP, and Cardano, because for me, Caspa simply shows the biggest potential, especially considering all of the upside there still is for Caspa. The development of smart contracts, KRC20, which given its technology will be an improvement from other existing networks, more secure, faster, and cheaper than BNB, Ethereum, and Solana, which makes it enticing for stable coins to get on the Casper network. You win a few, you lose a few, but you keep on fighting. Being ranked just outside the top 20 on CoinMarketCap without a tier one exchange listing as of the making of this vid, although Casper is listed on Kraken's roadmap. Binance already has added a zero fee mining pool on top of their future listing for Caspa and Crypto.com seems to be eyeing Caspa as well. There are connections with OKC, which is a premier tier two borderline tier one exchange and even Coinbase, the biggest exchange in the US the Caspa team has connections with. But on top of all that, Caspa has not seen a fully ignited bull run yet. The current market is moving sideways. Caspa still sits around the 16 to 17 cents per Caspa coin, just 20% away from its all-time high level. And so, Crypto Crew, this may be your last period to get Caspa as cheap as it is at the moment. Not financial.
financial advice, of course, but I do recommend you to study the crypto ocean, specifically Casper, which is the first ever trilemma solver. Unlike BTC, has the tech to be used for peer-to-peer payments, making Casper more Bitcoin than Bitcoin. Stick around. Fix your mind before you get to the grind. And with that said, let's continue to escape the matrix. Let's continue to be on the lookout for the next big thing here in the crypto ocean. Growing grace, and let's make some crypto waves. Say, ah.